Yep. Pretty good, man. Oh! Got him! Well, guys, good morning, and uh, welcome back to Binny Bank Fishing. It's the weekend, and uh, you guys know what we do on the weekends. We go fishing. And today we're gonna go to a new lake. Uh, never been here before, but uh, a few viewers uh, would recommend me to go try this lake out west about an hour by Big Lake, you know? So we're gonna go there. Um, it's that quick, tri quick trip here. Um, not getting any gas, but just mainly here for the lighting. It's beautiful. But other than that, guys, uh, enough chit-chatting. And I'll see you guys on the waters. Let's go. What's up, man? Hey You're guys. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> Lore. Lore? Nice yeah. to meet you, bro. What's up, dude? Uh, Lori's a viewer of the channel. He was uh, yeah. hearing me talk, and then I see their uh, brand new nitro right there. I know oh. the owner. What's the owner's name again? Uh, food. Food, right? Yeah. yeah, I saw him yesterday at uh, at a wedding. We were talking, and uh, that's his new basketball. Let's go look at it, guys. Uh, yeah. He Good told me he's just. Sick, dude. Yeah, it's super cool. He just, yeah. uh, he literally just got it, like brand new. And yeah. they're going to Malax, uh, doing some smallmouth fishing, but beautiful boat. One day I will obtain one of these bad boys too, but for now, I'm, I'm okay at my 15 foot, but yeah, look at these HDS 12s and all that good stuff. This boat is nice. You got the oh, brand man. new 250 motor in the back, with two Raptors in the back. Man, that thing is hot. But other than that, guys, uh, it was nice meeting you, bro. Yeah. So thank you. Uh, so thank you guys all for supporting the channel. I appreciate it. I meet you guys all here and there at family events and local stuff. That's super dope. But guys, enough to chat. Let's go. Well guys, we're finally on the waters as you can see that. Just a beautiful morning. It's like foggy and stuff. It's just so fishy. And today we are fishing with a special guest, my guy Paul from Trophy Armor. Say what's up guys. Hey guys, welcome to Bindi Vang's channel. Enjoy yep. the fishing today, okay? Yeah, but rules are simple today. Uh, we're gonna be uh, fishing for, I think, best four fish, right? Yep. Best four fish, and uh, we're gonna be fishing against each other. And I guess uh, we'll see what happens there. Um, fishing on a brand new body of water again. Uh, never been here, so join us on our adventure today and uh, let's uh, see how we do, guys. Let's go. So here's the map. I'm thinking right here should be a good spot. The launch is right there. I think we're gonna come down here and maybe try right at this little hump. And this lake has some main lake points and stuff like that too, but I don't really know. But uh, let's go check it out, guys. That spot, definitely. Just look at that, guys. Just a beautiful morning. So nice. Well, guys, we are at the first spot here. Ah, let's see how it is. And just an incredible scenery. Just foggy everywhere. But if you look down here, I can press four here. Mm -hmm. Then you can see my live scope too. Oh, cool. So if you're curious to where the live scope is panning, just take a look at the uh, direction, I guess. Got it. Uh, start the day with a little swim jig here from a god and baits as you can see there guys there's like little fish around us just, you know this flat bait fish all around us hopefully there's a few big bass hanging around and see if we can catch them guys that's a freaking nice day Ooh. oh yo that's good now It's like no wind today. Dang, it's like fish everywhere. Oh, 
Yeah, gotta see if uh, these fish to react. It's a little deep for the application, but let's we'll see what happens. DT16. And the jig here. We have to try the other main lake uh, structures. Oh. Dude, those got to be some bass down there. The sun is coming up nice and nice. These fish might even hang out shallow. But I feel like these fish might be on docks. I'm assuming these fish might be on their um, like typical mean like stuff like humps and points if the water was not experiencing like a algae bloom mm -hmm. so with this uh change of water visibility bass might want to stage up differently especially with the conditions not a lot of wind to generate any uh, any current you know yeah we've been seeing bigger fish suspending but i think those are just like bigger bluegills you know mm -hmm. they're just out there just like not scared of anybody oh. Shallow water. Guys, we're gonna go investigate some shallow waters. The lake water is like green. Jig time, wacky time. Oh, that's gonna catch fish for sure. Dang, this water is gross. There's like no weeds in this lake. Mm-mm. No weeds. Still got it, yeah. All right, that dock. First fish of the day at a dock. One pounder. Hey, scale zeroed out. First fish of the day. <laughs> One point. One pound, five ounce. Not bad. My typical fish I catch. Perfect. Ooh, fish on? Mm -hmm. That's a good one, dude. Ooh. <laughs> That's the first fish of the day. Okay, on three. Yep, 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 yeah, it's locked in. First fish for Paul is a one three. Let's go check that, uh, Submerged point. Ah, oh, let's go try this submerged point. There appears to be bluegills. Yeah, this algae is sick. I don't know if this is good for fishing. Whatever there is, there appears to be some type of fish just right underneath the surface. Like bluegills or whatever, you know? Yeah. Everybody's got their boats off the water. That's how bad it is. There's like weeds on this side. And bass might be here then, because if there's gonna be dead weeds here, those are gonna hold uh, bait fish, you know? Potentially. <laughs> Let's go. Yep. No! No! Bro! 
Dude, you might be caught that at the arm. Dude. That was big. That was a solid fish, bro. Oh. I waited too, man. Man. Hey, I was right though, my theory, yeah. Yeah. They're doing this um shallow grass. Shallow grass or whatever. Yeah, shallow dude. Man. Put the tackle on? Yeah. It's just a, a paddle frog. It's a frog. Is this a tackle frog? Yeah, they call it tackle. Oh, I just missed the first fish on it, so uh, it seemed like the explosion was more like a bass yeah. pop, you know, like yep. poof, versus a pike, which is like a vicious strike, you know. The one thing you know about pikes is you don't get hit right away. You pick the rock and it will fall, yeah. So yeah. Bass is like within like the first two five seconds, you're gonna get hit. Yeah. Well, that was the first top water strike I had like in a lot in a while. Here you go. Oh, no, oh, it's a pike, oh. bro. Big pike, too. That's a big pike, dude. Might have been the same guy. That's a negative. That is a big one, dude. It's like a 30, 30 inch or whatever. Right oh, in the bottom. Decent pike. decent pike, guys. On the top water frog. Wrong species, of course. But this guy was different, dude. That, this fish was uh over here. Yeah. This guy was right there. This guy's got some blackheads on him. A little ugly. Good man. Woo! Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, did you bend out the hooks on that? Did you bend out the hooks? Yeah, this this thing is a little too uh too tight too tight to the body you're right yeah, so yeah. what you do is you bad help nah so you just the gap a little bit yeah dude sorry man almost knock your face okay. knock your eyes out bro okay let me see if he's still there dude they're shallow man yeah these hooks are super tight to the body yeah you go to bed out and then you hook up right there be better well guys i missed like two bass on the top water frog already and what are we fishing right now exactly? It's pretty much just like a flat. And right now this lake is experiencing a nasty bloom of algae and it's just green everywhere. Mint green. But we're getting some fish to bite. Uh, it seems like the frog that I'm using right now, the hooks was a, was a little bit uh, tight to the body. So just used Paul's uh, clippers, pliers and was able to uh, pull it out just a little bit. I used to fish the frog a lot, but I don't know, for some reason I kind of just uh, stopped throwing it. I it you. Yeah, that's a good, uh, good, good pointer, yeah. Right. That's what it's to hook up, you know? It's flashing it right now already. Oh. Yeah, but pipe, they crack it. And then as soon as you stop, boom, it's going to Oh, yeah, that's true, huh? Because you watch the underwater videos, you see the pipe cracking the lure. Yeah. And then there's a the top, the pipe cracking. You look for that opportunity to uh, strike it. Mm -hmm. That should hit it right there already. Boom, like right here. Mm -hmm. Oh. That little lake across the street? Yep. That one's not big time. Yeah, that one's deep, right? You said? Yeah, that one's deep. That's like 50 feet. 50 feet? Yeah. It's so small. Mm -hmm. We got him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that was sick. I haven't got a frog bite like that in a while. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> uh, that's how fishing should be, though. Yeah. Little one. One pound, two ounce. No. We're catching small fish, dude. This is the smaller guy, though. Yeah, bro. I think they might be on that uh, frog bite, man. Yep. I'm surprised you're throwing your Senko as much as you are, and they're not eating it, you know? Yeah. <sighs> At least they're eating the frog. Yep. I haven't got a frog bite in a long time. Or been on an actual good frog bite. Like to catch this many um frog bites is like pretty good, man. Oh. Oh, you're me, man. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Woo! Right when I said that. <laughs> frog bite! No, I almost didn't bring my frog. Bro, they're like biting it like out of nowhere, dude. Oh. Fish number three, guys. Literally, 
just after that, but hell yeah. Catching the frog, just perfectly hooked. <laughs> oh man, I haven't had a fro good frog bite in a while. I know a lot of you viewers out there are like, dude, why don't you ever throw the frog? Well guys, here we are. Throwing the frog. Fish number three. Let's see what the fish weighs. I'm guessing a, a two pounder at least. One pound, 13 ounce. Close. Well, 12 ounce. A uh, bunch of one pounders this morning, guys, but we will take that. We will take that. Dog days of summer, but early in the summer, early during the day, just these hot water bass. Very skinny guys though. And guys, what I'm actually noticing too is that I can see on my live scope and I can see that a lot of these bluegills and stuff, they're like just right at the surface of this algae. And I think what they're doing is, they, is that they're, they must be feeding on some type of uh, aquatic insect or something like that. And a lot of these bass are looking up and just eating these little two to three inch bluegills because you can see them scurrying on the surface and stuff like that. But man, good day of fishing. Oh, no way, dude. Did you see how big that yeah. explosion was, dude? That was a big one. Yeah. I had him for a second, dude. I think, I think it might have been a pike, dude. I don't know, bro. Let's see if it's a pike, dude. <laughs> I'm not law. Dude, whatever that was. I was just like, man, it's been kind of dead, bro. Oh, the pike is. It was like, boom. I had him for a second, but my rod loaded up for a second, then he just came right <laughs> off. That one actually got me like a little like freaked out because it was such like a big wake, you know? Ooh, ooh, nice. Falls on one. That's gonna help you. Dude, these fish are nasty shallow, dude. Yep. One, what, you want it? One nine. Okay, second fish for Paul is one nine. Trophy armor. A big thanks to my guy Paul for uh, letting me rock his brand. Trophy armor, guys. Go we'll check him out. Link down below. And if you guys don't know already, they're freaking awesome. And just like that, guys, we got trophy armor on. Yep. Oh. And they're on the docks. Oh, that's oh, a three pounder. Oh, that's a two pounder. Yeah, I'd say it's only two and a half. You know what's crazy? Because when I actually uh, I skipped my jig under there, mm -hmm. I felt the fish hit it. I didn't feel the fish hit it, but I just felt like. I was just like, and then all of a sudden I just felt like a little, a little weight. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden I was pulling and all of a sudden I just felt the fish just pull back, pull back. I was like, oh, set the hook and just pull this fish around. No, dude, one pound, 10 ounce, dude. Seriously? Yeah, dude. It's fat. Yeah, it seems like it was. <laughs> See ya, buddy. It doesn't hurt to just lick hop. Could be the day too that just makes fishing tough too because yep. it's just too nice of a day nice days are usually the tougher days all right guys we are on another lake just down the road starts with the letter b yeah let's see if we catch any fish here guys um conditions i don't know if they're playing a role or not but it definitely does appear to be uh, playing a role since, uh, look at this, it's just a beautiful day. No winds, just perfect for grilling, but fishing, I don't know, might not be the best. A wacky warm Cinco day. Look at that, look at my tip. It's rocks. Nice rocks too. Yep. 
Oh no! Came off, bro. Oh. Shoot. Wanna go hit some docks? Yeah. No. Oh, he threw it again. See what I'm telling you about that dark sleeper hookup, dude? It's yeah. like. Yeah. What the heck, no, no. dude? The rod already loaded up. Yup. Freaking dark sleeper. I even cut the uh, the plastic trim on the. Uh, oh yeah, that little plastic piece. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nope. That's a fish, dude. Oh yeah, just fish. It's a good one. Yep. It's a big one. Ooh, we got no net, bro. That's a good one. Hopefully, it's not a pike. No. It's a bass, huh? It's a Ooh, dude, that's a good one. <laughs> okay, but you flipped that dude, fish. I really got him too. One hook. One hook. Hold on, buddy. Don't release. Hey, hey, hey. That's Come a on. nice one. It's the biggest of the day. Show yeah. this camera. Nice one. Biggest of the day, dude. That's your fish number three, ain't it? Yep. Two seven. Two pounds, seven ounces, dude. Lock that fish in. Number seven, huh? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put on my punch. Do do crawl tube. See if we can get something to happen. This just looks way too punchy to not punch. It's a crawl tube. Typically, I would use like a black and blue color, but you know what? I'm just gonna try something a little different. If it doesn't work, we always change to the other color. Immediately. There you go. Oh, the big one. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, <laughs> nice. nice, bro. Oh yeah, that's gonna be better than mine. You think so? Yeah. Woo! So. He's right underneath there, huh? Immediately, dude. Wow. That worked. <laughs> that, Damn, bro. This feels so good to set the hook on it, dude. Yep. Especially on a punch. Okay, let's see what this fish pulls out. My four fish. I got two. Yeah. Two pounds. One. Not even, bro. One ten. <laughs> I'm cursed. Ooh, ooh, that's a big one, bro. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Don't lose him, dude. That's a big fish, bro. Ooh, yeah, it's a decent one. You want me to get him? Ooh. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> That's a good one. Hell yeah! That's a good one on the Senko. Yeah. Oh no, that wasn't even recording. Nice one, dude. <laughs> on the wacky warm. 212. 212? Yep. Dang, bro. That's a good fish, dude. Uh, yeah. Dude, this dog gotta have a fish, man. Oh, yeah, man, it has the most surface. Ooh, yeah, I better not lose him. It's the first fish in a while. Ooh. Yeah, man. I wasn't kidding. Oh, yes. <laughs> really made it. Oh, yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, all the chatter bait, dude. There you go. Bro, she's. It was starting to seem a little desperate. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just lock this right here. Come on! One pound, 14 ounce. Oh, almost. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, that guy will call my first fish. Oh! Dude, that was so cool. That was probably the best weight. You were a long time for that. Uh, they're liking this frog, guys. Yep. Small guy, it's probably not gonna help me again, but take it, man. Ooh, oh, 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 small guy. Woo! Oh, missed. That guy missed. Nope. 
got him there. Come on. This is my two pounder. Come on, I gotta break two pounds. I know, you guys are fucking Ooh, This might be the same guy, y'all. <laughs> that was cool. Come on. <laughs> Get this fish. No, I haven't been on a good topwater bite like this in a while. <sighs> this dude might not even break two pounds. Yeah. This dude is smaller than the other guys, bro. Come on, gotta go to cold some of my fish here. This guy doesn't even help me, man. See ya, buddy. Who is that? One nine. <laughs> oh man, this frog is crushing it right now, guys. A mug. Damn, I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. It's always when you're not ready, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. Dude, like I just did not have enough slack. Yeah, let's take more slack. Dude, that was crazy, dude. You go ahead and get that one. That was. He's done. I, I got, I got a hook on him. Damn, bro. Oh man. That looked like a solid two or three pounder right there. Well guys, I think we are finally done fishing for the day. We are finally back in the cities and man, guys, you guys gotta go check out Trophy Armor, my guy Paul Yang. Uh, thanks to the uh, brother for you know supplying some dope uh, fishing apparel. Uh, his brand is pretty cool. I think this was like the monster one. That one's the bucket no, mouth, right? This is the bucket mouth or tank. Oh yeah. Tank. I also got the tank one too. So they also make some uh, super dope um, like the sun gators, right? Yep neck and face gators yeah so go check out his stuff i'll link them below but just uh, support the locals man just small guys like him i mean like it's just uh good to support the guys right but anyways uh fun day of fishing though i mean like we caught a lot of fish at the first lake i mean we caught them in, in an area where we did not anticipate those fish to be you know just like super shallow waters uh we try to fish main lake points uh dragon uh, uh finesse reaction type lures fishing the humps like points like it was just like the fish was not there or either they did not want to eat or we don't exactly know it was our first time there and like when we got there the weather no the water conditions were just absolutely gross just like green there's like a thick green algae uh, um, bloom going on and the weather conditions were just far too perfect like just absolutely no wind um, like no clouds just straight up sun like the most beautiful day to grill and get drunk but man when it came when it came to fishing i mean we were out there we didn't really catch anything i mean nope. like dinks it, it was dinks and stuff like that until we threw on the top water and then that caught us a few fish that was that was great i mean like caught a few nice fish and uh i Warm think singles yeah yeah you know, the singles too and then after that we we're like you know what let's just bounce to another lake nearby and so the other lake lake too that lake was uh i think it was pretty good good I Robert. wish we went there first and I think um, we probably would have had a better day of fishing, right? Yep. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, other than that, you got anything you want to say? No, man. Thanks for having me. Let's do it again. Yeah, for sure. All right, All bro. Right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Peace out.